Hello my friends, John LaRufa here with another Unbiased Unboxing. And in this episode, we're going to look at this whole pack of Nano 9 games, which there's three separate games in here, and actually you can apparently combine all of them together for a fourth game. So we're going to take a look at all of these, what's inside, see what we get. Okay folks, and as usual, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already, and if you have, thank you so much. Now... I'll give this one a pass. Usually I say to myself, man, I really want to see what the game has to offer. And this is kind of a different setup with these boxes. So I'll give it a pass. But it is cool how compact everything is, especially when you have um, shelves that are bursting at the seams like mine are. And I know that's kind of a personal problem. Oh, come on, will you? But uh, it is nice to have things in small game packages sometimes. Plus, I've put a few very large boxes into my collection lately, which many of you have seen. So there you go. Now, the inside of this is kind of cool. It's, um, well, it's got the artwork for this, I suppose. And then we have the Empire Planners um, game uh, rules right here. So it goes right into how to play the game with all of these combined here into a really cool version when you use them all together, which I just think is really cool how they figured out and they put this all together like this. I'm very, um, very impressed actually with what they did because they took three different games and they made another one out of it. So that is cool. Now in the back, on the back of each of these, now we see at least the components here and you can see that right there. Um, they all look fine. It's not easy to see exactly what you're doing in any of these uh, given games from the back of the box, though, but it's okay. So let's go ahead and open each of them one at a time, but we will strip off <clears throat> the uh, shrink wrap from all of them all once. Now, I did kickstart this a while back, and uh, so I'm excited to finally get my hands on it. It's been a while. Okay. All right. So why don't we start with city planners here? What do we get inside this little guy? Well, we've got the rule book. And all these rule books are pretty compact to fit in such small little boxes. Can't be too difficult. And so here we have a bunch of dice, a couple of cubes, and the components, which I think should be nine cards in all these cases. Let's take a look at the quality here. Come on. All right, so this is sealed up pretty good. Okay, here we go. And these aren't really cards. I guess they're just like small, in this case, small, uh, glossy boards, if you will. Okay, so you can see on the back, there's just the artwork. And so we've got, you know, the, well, essentially the game boards here and then a scoreboard and that's it. So all function, but it does look sharp. Wouldn't say there's a ton of necessary artwork there, but that's okay because it kind of, whoops, kind of fits the situation. The good news is the the component quality seems pretty good. These should lay flat, so I'm happy about that. All right, so that was the first one. Now let's take a look at railways. Okay, and the rule book here. A few more. Looks like we've got a few more. Uh, pages here, but none of this is going to be over the top, that's for sure, I don't think. All right, now we've got a bunch of brown dice and brown cubes here. These are wooden dice, look just fine. And here are these cards, and this definitely feels reminiscent of Tramways, which is a game that I really like. One of the first games I actually did on my channel, as a matter of fact, many years ago. And so we've got a scoreboard, and there's the back. And then we have all of these uh, very highly detailed map tiles here, which look cool. OK, 
okay, with all the different stations. And on the back of them, looks like a bunch of actions that are in the icons that you find in Tramways and Tramways Engineers. All right, so we got that one. <clears throat> then finally, Empire. Here is the rule book for Empire. Again, pretty small. Hopefully we've got plenty of examples in here. Seems like there's plenty, there's some decent examples, I think. I think that's the red is here. Okay, and now we have tan cubes and tan dice. <clears throat> and the final set here of cards. Right. And in this pack here, we've got um, a profit and a year marker, two different sides there, market, two different sides. And then this one's probably got the most, uh, go, oops, sorry, going on with these cards because they are double-sided here. All right, but it definitely looks like, uh, yeah, you got a little nice little artwork in there, which is cool, but they're very functional. All right, so there you have it, folks. I'm interested in learning all these little guys. And then there's that rules book that puts them all together, which is really kind of cool. I've never really seen that, but that should be a, a real um, exciting thing to, to dig into. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Whatever you decide to do in the future, hope you have a hand. fantastic time doing it. Take it easy, everybody.